What's up everybody? Welcome back, Bandit Barney here, and today we're gonna be going over how to get the broken pirate sword. This is a hidden weapon, which is fairly easy to grab. It's on the southern eastern side of the map, so maybe you wanna grab it a little bit into the game when you've kinda of traveled down towards that area. Either way, super simple. Just go to roads. Uh, you can take the train, the train will take you to right there, and you just come all the way down southeast, and you're gonna come in, there's a cluster of three islands right here, and you're just gonna go right there. Super easy to grab, you can see it's, it's not even that far from Rhodes or Sand and Me. Either way you wanna go about it, we're gonna start heading there right now. I just actually recorded this whole video and forgot to turn on my mic. That's besides the point. I think this is the only sword in the game to my knowledge i have not completed the game 100 percent but i haven't seen another sword besides this one unfortunately it is a broken sword it's not a complete pirate sword that would be really fun to have it's a broken one but on the plus side it has a little bit more damage than the regular knife so you will see that i do recommend once you get down towards the area where it is, pull out a, uh, a stronger rifle, like a bolt action rifle or a scoped rifle, because there is a ton of alligators here. And if you don't preemptively take them out, your horse is gonna get spooked, um, or you know, you might get eaten. In the process of recording this video, I've been eaten twice. <laughs> I might just be bad at the game. But pull out that bolt action rifle and make sure you really scout the area before you go up to the sword. We're gonna keep moving a little bit. It's a little bit past this. You actually get your horse swimming a bit here. Oh look, there's a snake of sorts. Um, and so I think, is that it? Okay, we're gonna swim right past the gator here. Go into your hunter mode so you can see what's going on here. Looks like just a couple turtles in front of us. Most of, oh no, see, this is a gator. A baby gator, but. If you don't take them out, your horse will get spooked when you dismount here. So make sure to take them out. You see, horsey's already a bit spooked. If we just give her a, oh, we can't even groom her. Yeah, she, she's gonna get spooked here though. But right here in this boat is where we're gonna find this pirate sword. It looks like if you, you see there's a skeleton there. I don't know why a pirate would crash here. This must have been wreckage from a long time ago because Saint Denis is very developed and this is a small boat to be wrecked here on this island. Regardless, look at that. The broken pirate sword, it looks really neat. I wish though in this game, you could maintain your swords the same way you maintain your weapons or your rifles. You cannot though, that is not something you can do. So this blade is going to be rusty the entire time you're using it. But let's go see what kind of animations we can get with the sword comparative to the knife that we've all been using. Okay, we got our sword out and we're on a plantation. Now, one of the things I'm interested in finding out is can we use this sword like we've seen in shows or movies where we ride on our horse and use it? Because I don't think you can use a knife like that. They're too short. But maybe if we have the blade, maybe we can do that. Here's someone else on another horse. Let's see what happens here. So I'm pressing shoot. It's not doing anything for me. Let's go see if we can hit someone. Here, here's a guy on the ground. Let's see what happens if we do. Okay, we. it looks like it's not working. Oh, so we press the, you press the same button you would press if you were kicking. If you know that that is circle, on the PlayStation controller, I think it's B on Xbox. But if we press that button, we're actually gonna slice while we're on the sword. Now that is neat. Are we able to do that with a knife? I just wanna quickly test this here. Does the knife work to do that? No, the knife you still kick, but with this sword, we actually get to slice. That is some really cool mechanics there. Let's see if we can get someone with it. Ooh, the timing is hard. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the horse is just getting nailed. Oh, there we go. We got someone, baby. Oh, and it feels good. It feels good. Oh, no, we missed. It is hard, though. It is not easy here. 
I'm just right up. I'm right halfway running people over. Okay, we, we need to really start using some potions here. Let's All right, we're gonna do that and then oh the horse is getting nailed. We need to heal her up, right? No, she's she's dead! Someone they've killed her! They've killed her! No horse! No, oh, and I'm getting fought! You better get off me, boy! Ugh! I can't believe this! Get me in this building! I wanna go in this building! Oh, oh, oh. Alright, you're gonna have to come in here and close combat to fight me now, boys. They've killed my horse. I need to get out there and revive her. I can't believe they've done this. Oh my gosh, they're leveling me. So we can see the mechanic right here. You chop them in the face. It's pretty graphic. With the sword, really fun is the... Pull this guy off the... Oh, come down here, boy. Why do I... Wait, why do I let this guy get up before I do that? No, I need to go save the horse. I need to save the horse as soon as possible. But I also need to stay alive. It's so hard fighting... Oh my gosh, I just almost died. No, 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 no pistols, no pistols, sorry. Sword only. <sighs> oh, the dead body. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? We need to hit her with that big horse revival. Oh, no, 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 come on. Oh, we got her, we got her, we got her. Now, if you, any of y'all shoot my horse, you're gonna pay the price. Ooh, right through the belly. So that's the mechanic we get when we just straight up melee someone. If we run at people, all these guys are on horses, but if we run at people, so, oh, we can punch with the blade in our hand. That is really neat. Now let's see if, what we do if we do that. Okay, we still tackle when we do this, but that is the mechanic we get from above. Instead of the stab, it's the slice to the dome. Dirty, I like it. Okay, we officially got a $335 bounty using just the Pirate's Blade minus, I think we killed one guy with some revolvers. The Pirate's Blade, I will say, super cool that you can use it while on horse. Let me give you guys a better view. That's a terrible view. Really cool that you can use it while on horseback. We can do the whack motion like that. That's something you cannot do with the knives. I think you might be able to do it with the machete but I'm not sure. Recommend grabbing this weapon. Once again, guys, it's just right down here. So easy to grab, right in between these three islands, just southwest, southeast of Rhodes. So go grab yourself that pirate blade. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for future content. Appreciate you stopping by the channel to get a little bit more knowledge on Red Dead 2. We're all enjoying it. And until next time, take care, guys.